Y'all, look at this. Like, look at the hairline. Like, this looks so good. So good. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another hair video, and I have a flyaway. And it is on this unit on my head right here. Can we talk about the volume and the texture and the length? Needless to say, the smile on my face already tells you how I feel about it. But I did have a couple cons, so you got to watch the whole video to get all of my complete thoughts on this unit. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do hair videos. I do more makeup than hair, but I love showing you guys great units that are sometimes sent to me. But I also buy a lot of wigs with my own money. Lord help me. We're not going to talk about that. If you want to see how I got this wig together looking like this, this hairline like this, this whole style, this whole vibe like this, then stay tuned and keep on watching. The brand we are working with today is HC Hair Beauty and on the box you see that they say you can contact them to get $10 off of your order and there's this message on the back about how they use human hair, virgin hair. You do get a wig cap and a pair of gloves in the box which I've never gotten before. Um, this is the wig right here and you can see it's packaged well. The texture of this is absolutely beautiful. It is 100% human hair in a kinky straight texture. I got this in 150% density and in 18 inches. The hair feels very soft and very, very thick, which I absolutely loved. You can see the hairline right here. The knots are really small, which is great. So that's not going to show too much whenever you do your install. And the hairline looked okay, but I wasn't sure if I was going to pluck it or not initially. This is a full lace wig, so you can see there's a lot more lace in the front. Gives you a lot more parting space. There are two combs behind the lace. Then you also get your comb in the back, as well as your adjustable straps on the inside as well. So again, just looking at the hairline, I did decide that I want to go ahead and pluck it just because I wanted it to look more realistic. The hair is absolutely beautiful, so I wanted to make sure that I did everything I could to make this look absolutely flawless. So this is what it looks like to start. If you don't feel comfortable plucking, you don't have to. I went ahead and I washed the hair first. I did find that there was a very strong chemical smell to it, so I wanted to try to take some of that out before I got into styling it. I do use styling products to protect the hair the same way as I do on my hair. So this is a strong and sexy brand um, that I like to use just for conditioning the hair. It's a great leave-in conditioner. This Eva NYC I absolutely love for my wigs and for my hair. It smells great and it's a thermal protectant. And then this Mazzani is also a thermal protectant. I knew I was gonna put a lot of heat in this wig and I also wanted to make sure that I could straighten some of the kinkiness a little bit, but not completely get rid of the texture. I'm gonna speed through me plucking this because I did take my time and I took a while, parted a section, went through and plucked, parted again, went through and plucked, and I just continued this process across the whole front of the hairline, checking it periodically as I went through because I wanted to make sure I didn't overdo it, but this is what it's looking like part of the way through and I just went ahead and did the whole front of the hairline and then this was the final product so you can see it makes a huge difference and I didn't have to do a ton but I really just wanted to thin out the front a little bit so it looked more like my hair does so now getting into the styling I like to use a wax spray because I find that it helps to hold the curl a little bit I do find that this works better on the silkier textures because it helps to give the hair a little bit of grit. I don't think I really needed it for this, but I also knew that I was going to curl this hair and let it sit for a while. So I just wanted to make sure that it held. 
This is how it looks with all of the hair curled. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I could not wait to put it on. But because of the wax, it did kind of leave it a little dull. So I just wanted to go in with my sleek and shine to give it a little more luster. Now, if you skip through, some people do, they don't like to watch the unboxings. I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown of all the specs of the unit real quick, and then we're gonna get straight to it. So the unit we are working with today is from the brand HC Hair, and they let me pick any unit that I wanted on their website to tell you guys about the quality of the hair and a little bit about the company. So I was really excited about that. Now this is their full lace, and I'm looking at the description to make sure I get it right. It's in a natural black color and it's a kinky straight 100% human hair wig. Now I picked mine in 18 inches and I got 150% density. If you're gonna wear your hair straight, a higher density is usually better so it doesn't look just limp on your head. So that's why I made that choice. My hair is in a ponytail. I'm gonna do my standard wig grip, we're not doing bald cap, any of that stuff, and we're just gonna see how it looks. I did pre-pluck this unit myself. It says that it comes pre-plucked a little bit. It also does not come with the knots, the knots bleached, and when I asked about it, they said that they don't normally do that unless you ask for it because it weakens the hair, which we all know that, but they also know it makes it look more realistic, and they said that, so... I didn't do it, but I may do it on my own later. This is the cap construction, so you can see the 360 lace all the way around. I am gonna put some powder in the lace in the front, but I'm just gonna cut this off in the back. I have other 360 lace wigs. I don't wear my hair in a ponytail when I wear a wig, but if you feel comfortable with doing that, then you can with this one. So I'm just gonna put it on real quick before I cut the lace off to let you see how it looks on my head before we do the install, just with the little bit of modification I have done. As you can see from the picture that I inserted, this wig is pretty pricey, being that it is a 360 lace wig and the texture, it does kind of make sense as far as the price goes, but I think I love this. We haven't even gotten started. So this is what the hairline looks like from the little bit of plucking that I did. I do think that this looks really, really good. I just wish the knots were bleached, but I can do that myself. So we just gotta cut the lace off and put my wig grip on. And I will do all that, but I will speed through it so I don't have to bore you guys with that. Now, one thing I do want to say real quick before I start the install process is this lace is very, very soft. And I feel like this blends in pretty well with my skin. I usually have to go over it with some foundation once I get it on, but I think this will be okay. I do, I think I cut the sides pretty well. So that will be, I may have a little bit of my hair out, but not too bad. I'm not keeping this wig on. I did have one complaint when I got the wig and that it was that it had a very strong chemical smell. And I reached out to the company and told them about it and they said that the reason it had the smell was because they had customized it and wanted to get it out to me pretty quick and that they shipped the hair while it was still wet. So I'm still trying to get the kind of chemical smell out of it and so I don't wanna wear it just yet, but I wanted to get this video done. They did say that they would work on that so that it didn't happen in the future. So just sharing that to be completely transparent with you guys. It's not as bad as I got when I got it because I did wash it and condition it and all that, but I do still smell it a little bit. So I'm gonna keep this lace on. I'm gonna spray the front down and then we're gonna do the sides and then I'm gonna finish up the video. So let's get into the install. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, 
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it. All right, so we got a little tiny bit of a white cast, but that is super easy to fix, which is probably more from the fact that I should have waited to do my makeup after, but I always, I don't know, I like to come on not looking too, too crazy. Since I'm not keeping this wig on, I am not worried about the sides not being completely stuck down. I got to comb out these little crusties, but I feel like it's coming out really easy i'm using the asia es ha absolute glueless lace spray i really like this for just like a quick kind of no muss no fuss easy install because as you can see it works well my lace looks melted i got a little piece right here i often leave a little too much lace and then have to go back and cut it off as opposed to cutting off too much lace to begin with. So sometimes that happens, but better safe than sorry. Y'all, first of all, this hair texture, I need to put something in the hair just to give it a little bit of shine, but I love how this just looks super natural, like it is a blowout. The texture did come a little bit kinkier but all I did was use my what's that thing called lange lineage whatever the name of it is just to kind of give it a little bit oh lord this is crusty um there we go a little bit of a blowout kind of look because I wanted it to be a little straight but I didn't want to lose the texture so let me put a little bit of my I'm sorry, I'm caught up in this hair. <laughs> a little bit of my Garnier Fructis oil. I swear this happens every time I do a wig and I like how it comes out. I get so flustered when I try to talk about it. So I'm not worried about the sides. I don't plan on wearing this back. I don't plan on wearing this long. For right now, this is exactly what I wanted to see, which was how the lace melts in the front. I will... Let me go. I'm going to go. I've had this styled for probably about a week. <laughs> Shows how Barbara is with her installs. Y'all, look at this. Like, look at the hairline. Like, this looks so good. So good. So I'm probably just going to go back in with my wand curler just to touch up the curls a little bit. But overall, like, you could just wear this like this. This is the front I mean, this hair is gorgeous. And to say this is 150% density, it looks so full. But I just want to go ahead and show you guys the length. This is how it looks from the front. And then this is the side. She is laying really flat and I don't have a stocking cap on. And this is the hair from the back. So you can see it is very long, very full. 
And then here's the other side, which you do see a little bit of short hairs at the top, but not bad. I let these cool off for a little bit, but you guys get the picture. You can do whatever you want with this hair. And again, if you like something that is a little more our texture, more natural looking for us, this kinky straight texture is gorgeous. And you can, like I said, you can wear it straighter. I just prefer to have a little bit of curl to my units. So that is why I went through and curled it all. I'm gonna curl these last few little pieces over since I've done this already. And then you guys already know my final thoughts. I think this wig is absolutely beautiful. And while she is pricey, I definitely think it is worth it. So if you've had your eye on wanting to try a unit that is a little more expensive, but it's not gonna break the bank. Right now she is showing that she is under 300, right under $300. And I do have a code for you guys. So that'll make it even more worth it. But this is it for the hair. Y'all see, I mean, <laughs> you have seen my face when I love something. You have seen my face when I don't. And this is the face of love. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Show you the hairline again. Like I would have no qualms wearing this out. God, this looks so good. Let me know what you think below. Tell me, could I pass? Could I make it pass? Could I make it pass for my hair? I know these sides. I got to work on them. We ain't worried about that right now. Final product. Hair is gorgeous absolutely love it. Thank you HC Hair so much for sending me this wig. I love the texture. I love the volume. I love the hairline. I love the lace. Other than working with that smell in the beginning, hopefully they'll get that together. I absolutely love this unit. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, give it, give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, I hope you decided to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.